Western Conference NBA Playoffs. Round one continues. The Lakers come into game three up two games to none. Will their relentless desire thrust them to a third straight victory? The scenery changes to hostile ground as they face off against the Houston Rockets. Round one of the NBA Playoffs continues. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Game 3 of this Western Conference First Round Series. We're 2-0 so far, and we'll see if the home court advantage holds sway. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is taking a look at Houston. Even though they start this series in a hole, Greg, it wasn't entirely unexpected, but now at home, they have to put a W on the board. And, and you know, Kevin, I, I look for them to be more comfortable here tonight. You, you often shoot better at home. Sometimes role players produce more at home. It's an environment and a crowd filled with energy that you're used to. And now the Lakers starting group. We've got Durant. James is out there with Russell. Then there's Wenbenyama. And it's Davis in a power forward. Here's Middleton. And the rejection by Wenbenyama. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Here's KD. He doesn't hit that one. Great tee that time for Middleton. Smith with it. He's picked up by Russell. Ayton dishes to Middleton. Pass to Porter. Kicks it to Green. Launches a three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And how about Porter Jr.'s court awareness? Excellent job finding the open man with the pass. Benyama down low. Defended by Middleton. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Porter passes to Ayton. Yes, that goes in. Yeah. Three for four now. I like the pace for them on offense. Lakers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Here's James. Pulls it up. And Davis with the basket on the assist by LeBron. Letting his mechanics do all the work. AD trusts his shot to get it done. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Middleton outside. Goes up on the wing. Count it. Good. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. Ben Benyama, ice screen on Porter. Porter against Russell. Misses the three. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. James against Green. Russell from long range. Drills the three-pointer. Russell's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Lakers. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Rockets. Shot from free throw range. And James pulls it down. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on them. Ben Benyama sets a screen for LeBron. Russell from long range. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Hitting three-pointers, so important in today's NBA. Good thing Russell's got the range and confidence to do so. A shot by Middleton, wide open. Another miss by Middleton. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Ben Benyama, ice screen on court. Russell kicks to KD. Outside for Ben Benyama. Here's LeBron. Rebounded by DeAndre. And, and 
And typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that play. Smith, and that one clearly a foul, gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Sometimes you have to fight for it, and Smith showed he's up to the task. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Santi Aldama comes in for Anthony Davis. And it's Austin Reeves in for James. Reeves the pass to Russell. And it's off from three-point range. Houston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. The Rockets making a switch here. Team four, the Rockets. Stay wrong. Shot. Los Angeles has gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Here's Grimes. And the rejection by Wembenyama. Russell from long range. That drops. Nice feed that time from Wembenyama. Rem Benyama's got his third assist on the night. Here's Hauser. Another miss by Houston. Los Angeles leading by three. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. And then Durant with the dunk. The ball handling from Durant really a key to what sets him apart as a player. He can pull up and break you down. Hampton passes to Hauser. Makes it off the glass. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Russell with it. There's a screen by Aldama. That will count. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And indeed, the previous play is under review. And guys, big games like this in the NBA playoffs, you appreciate the benefit of instant replay to make sure they get the call right. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that one. D'Angelo Russell getting it done for the Lakers. He nailed it from long range in that quarter. Winds up with a total of four three-pointers in the period. We're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's their strategy. Try to overwhelm you. Try to put you in a hole you have to dig yourself out of. Rockets trail by five. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Santi Aldama is out there with Anthony Davis. And it's KD in at the three, the small forward. To the inside. And there's Davis. That's good on the assist by Durant. Davis has got the lead up to seven now for the Lakers. Grimes passes to Sharp. Oh, that's blocked. And they'll get another chance to the paint. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball here. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. The pass to Grind. Lock at six. Jacks up a three. Gilliard misses. Lakers leading by seven. Here's Reeves. That doesn't go, and he's 0-1 from the field. 
here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. His rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he could just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. And there's the whistle, illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Hachimura, he's checked in for the Lakers. L.A.'s gone to three-point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them. Here's Reeves. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Reeves has got his first bucket in this one. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. A solo fast break. Rips down the breakaway slam. How about the D there by Russell? Just using that 6'9 wingspan to jack the ball loose and kicks it up off the fast break. And now the first timeout call here for the Rockets. You look at D'Angelo Russell. What a contribution. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way to run him off his spots out there. He is rolling. Smith checked in for the Rockets. And the Lakers also making a switch. James is checked in. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. And this has been a comedy of errors. I mean, you can just add another one to the list. Here's Los Angeles now. Nine points in a row. Good run for him right now. And that one's good by LeBron. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish. But they're tough to replicate. First team foul. And the Rockets with possession here. No points yet here in the second quarter for them. Middleton looking it over. Smith wide open. He fires. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Smith's got seven points in the game. James in the high post. Working on Green. Here's Davis, and there's another one for the Lakers. Oh, great ball movement there. And it's Porter with the ball for Houston. Down by 15. Passes to Sharp. Dishes to Middleton. This one for three. The Lakers with the rebound. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Davis. Porter pulls it in. Houston's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Here's the screen. From 13. Shots good by Green. He has five. Putting his size to use. Green's got great length, and it helps him there inside. And Aldama has it in the corner. to Hachimura. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. That's good from Davis on the assist by James. Davis has got six points in the quarter. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. 
Smith for three, buries it from three-point range. He's got such a smooth release on catch-and-shoot jumper. Smith is lethal off ball. To the middle, and out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Yeah, just not on the same page. Unfortunate, wasted possession. The Rockets making a switch here. Aiton's checked in. Rockets trail by 12. There's 49 seconds left in the first half of the game. And the wide open shot from Green. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got his fifth assist in this one. Now James. James converts inside. The indestructible one. LeBron brushing off contact with the easy deuce. 23 seconds left in the second quarter. Middleton for three. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got his fourth rebound in this one. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Inside. A shot off that time. Smith with the defensive effort. One second left. That one's not going to go. And so we wrap up the first half. The Lakers on top. They lead by 11. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Toyota Center. Greetings, everybody. Game three, and it's a huge lead for the Los Angeles Lakers. They built a nice lead. I like their rhythm on offense, kind of like us on the set. We're in the flow. Big fella, that was well said. Looking at the scenario for the... Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. as we get back to the action on the court. It's been a clinic out there with D'Angelo Russell. There must be ice water in his veins. Such an important game, and he plays superb basketball in that opening half. That may be just the beginning. He might try to carry this team across the finish line himself. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. Liz Middleton is out there with Smith, and it's Aiton in at the center position. That's the five for Houston right now. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Davis setting the pick for Russell. And again for three. And he is scorching hot right now. He could be on his way to setting a franchise postseason record with his shooting. He's caught fire at the right time for this team. Stepped up big in the postseason for him. Middleton for three. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. Davis with a screen on Porter. 
Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Three for three. And that's always a good way to start the second half. Durant's checked in for Los Angeles. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And that one misses. Outside green. Here's Hayton. Hachimura grabs the miss. Los Angeles leading by 19. And it's Russell missing. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. James against Aiton. And Davis sends it back. Using that seven foot six wingspan, Anthony Davis, an elite shot blocker. A shot that time, not on target. Great D that time for Middleton. He dishes it to Porter. They kick it out to Green. The Rockets with another miss. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of halftime. Russell from long range. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got three assists now in this one. Now a timeout called by Houston. some changes. Ren Benyama, he's checked in for Davis. And it's Austin Reeves in for James. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. Still looking for their first bucket of the second half. Pass to Smith to stop the run. Drills it from outside. Smith's got 13 points. And the numbers speak for themselves. Smith has been aggressive and effective all night. To the left wing. There's Russell with the three. Good! Another from three. And he's letting it fly from long range to devastating effect. And he's now tied the franchise record for triples in a playoff game. Outside, Porter fires the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's Russell with the three. The Rockets pull it in. Smith's got rebound number five here tonight. The pass to Porter. Shoots the three. Here's Hayton. Hachimura grabs the miss. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. Passes it to Reeves. Russell against Porter. There's the triple. Connects again from distance. The three's coming fast and furious. He is scorching the net. Now GA tied for the third most three-point field goals in single-game playoff history. And ten triples equals Dane Lord's buzzer-beating performance in 2019 when he waved bye-bye to the Thunder. Three-pointer. Good! Another from three. He's putting on a shooting exhibition that has left this entire arena slack jaw. And Greg, he finds himself tied for second place all time and three-point makes for a playoff game. Equaling game six Clay, who buried OKC back in 2016 with 11 triples. Shots good by Middleton. Totally unselfish play there from Aiden. Sends the ball to someone with a wide open look. Porter against Russell. KD sets the pick for Russell. Here's the three. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Houston's gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Green draws the double. For three, Smith. The rebound by Victor Rembanyama. Lakers leading by 23. Here's KD. And KD throws it down. When KD goes up, there's no way to stop him. Middleton on the wing from deep. Hits the three-point bomb. Middleton's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Houston. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. And again for three. In 
incandescent from long range. The defense throwing up their hands. How do you stop it? <laughs> I don't know. And he's now tied the single game playoff record for three pointers made. 12 triples, putting him neck and neck with Dane Lillard's record setting game in 2021. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Taking a look at Los Angeles, we've got Alex Caruso. Durant is out there with Rui Hachimura. Then there's Wembenyama. And it's Reeves in at the two guard. Right wing, here's Sharp, and then Sharp with the dunk. The correct decision by Middleton, moving to his wide open teammate, Chris, a terrific passer off the wing. Hachimura, the pass to Wembenyama. Caruso, that drops, nice feed that time from Wembenyama. Wembenyama's got four assists in the game. The Rockets shooting for the game at 42%. And there's the foul. We're going Alex Caruso. That is his first foul of the game. Porter's checked in for Jang. The Lakers also with a sub. Russell, he's checked in for Alex Caruso. Let's it go with a three. Hauser misses. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Connects again from distance. What can you say? Wow, he's done it. The most three-point makes in NBA playoffs. Oh, an incredible achievement. One that will surely be celebrated around the world. And the three-point marks falling fast. That one previously set in 2021. He's riding that wave to push it further. Now a timeout called by Houston. Jabari Smith, he's jacked in for the Rockets. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. And so Wem Benyama will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Took him no time at all on that one. Russell's got 46 points. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry, but it can go the other way as well. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Russell, no luck. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Here's Reeves. It's deflected. Here's Grimes. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Achimura kicks to Russell. Nailed from three-point land. Russell's got 49 points in the game. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Got a piece of it. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. In for your Rockets, DeAndre Ayton, Sheila Reed, Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And here's Green outside. The Lakers with the rebound. From the arc. And another one falls. Amazing. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Now here's Middleton. Outside Porter. Launches it. Connects from three-point range. Good to see Porter Jr. knocking down the triple. Needs to keep taking and making those shots. 
Here's Russell with the three. Pockets with the rebound. Aiton's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Middleton against Hachimura. Middleton outside. Down low. Here's Aiton. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got his seventh assist here tonight. And game three will go in the record books here. Lots of energy out there tonight and an important win for the Lakers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And this series has really gone their way. Yeah, it looks like a sweep may be in the cards with tonight's win. They'll be going up 3-0, and this is exactly what they wanted to do. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for D'Angelo Russell. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. And when Benyama throws it down. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? This is going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. Going up strong there. That's the kind of aggressive play you love to see from Smith. Russell, no luck. And so here is Houston. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Green, no luck. And here's the Lakers. And the Lakers can just let the clock run down here. Durant inside. He's against Smith. The shot, no good. Outside, Porter. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, you have accomplished so much in this league. How have you sustained it for this long? You know, it's only a select few. It's not many who make it to this point. And, and I will never take the game for granted. That's why I try to give everything I can until I can't give no more. And uh, I've been around some great players, great coaches, great organizations. And uh, for me to have this opportunity right here means a lot, and I'm very humble. Well, we appreciate all the work you've put in, man. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. Much appreciated, David. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, D'Angelo Russell.